And hello and welcome to Hindsight Tonight. I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, the annual Cannes Film Festival kicked off last week and was highlighted by the world premiere of the latest Indiana Jones movie starring Harrison Ford. The movie is called Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which sounds more like a soap commercial slogan than an adventure, honestly. The movie has gotten flack for using CGI de-aging effects on Ford. Here he is in a still from the film. Yeah, I, I think you guys might have overdone it just a bit. They should have just kept him at 80 years old. Look at this crowd, they love him. The French even awarded him with a Palme d'Or du Honneur, which is French for spray painted fern. People were also disappointed by the absence of Ke Hui Kwan in the new movie. He was the Chinese character of Short Round in 1984's Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Remember? Whatever you do, Short Round, don't touch anything. Okay, Dr. Jones, I no touch anything. Indy! Lady only here cause she humping director. That was from the TV show Family Guy. Did that offend you? Sorry. Oh, not the racist portrayal. I mean, the fact that Steven Spielberg essentially casting couched Kate Capshaw and nobody else called him out on it. Forget the casting couch, that was more of a casting sectional with Ottoman from Ray Moore and Flanagan. She never had a chance. Her name should have been Kate Captive. Anyway, back to short round. In the spirit of advancing the narrative a bit, allow us to take a shot at impersonating this fictional character and woke it up a bit, shall we? Here we go. Hey, Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! Remember me? I was a token actor from your movie, representing a marginalized culture in Hollywood. Then I suffered career roadblocks that your blonde-haired, blue-eyed ass couldn't begin to dream of. Oh, but hey, Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! Look what I have! You made 87 movies in 50 years. How many Oscars you have? Oh, so sorry, Dr. Jones. Oh, but look, they gave you a spray-painted fern instead. That's very funny. That was a fictional character, folks. I'm on Team Kwan, okay? Don't ban me like Russia did to 500 Americans. That's right, Vladimir Putin has had just about enough of people making fun of him and hating him just because he killed thousands of people in Ukraine. So your diplomatic immunity has just been revoked. Notables on the list include former President Barack Obama and nightly cut up Stephen Colbert, Seth Meyers, and Jimmy Kimmel. Good one, Vlad. Boy, you really ruined their summer for sure. No one on that list would ever even plan a trip to Moscow, even if you begged them to come. That's like saying nobody from PETA is invited on your hunting trip, or kicking Andrew Tate out of Oprah's book club. I think the Indiana Jones de-aging effects have spread to Gorky Park. Even though Vladimir Putin is 70 years old, what the world sees instead is just an angry little boy. And that's your news. Have a great week. Don't forget to like us and subscribe, and I'll see you next Sunday with Fresh Hindsight.